your hand made by God. Heaven Letter Number 5054 September 26, 2014 Love is always to be renewed. Not vows of love but love itself. Each moment of life is precious. This is not a platitude. Life cannot be taken for granted. Life is a gift that you are given for a while, yet you do not while away this gift. You dispense and disperse it. Each person you meet is meant to be dear to you. Even those that pestered you or were a thorn in your side or were negligible to you and have gone over the horizon of the waves of the ocean, you might give a lot to see them once again and make amends. You might well sing a different tune now. Do not wait. Do not be late. Each person is a being handmade by God. Very precious are the souls who wander on earth, trying to find their way. What can you do but have compassion for all created beings sent out into the world? What can you do but welcome them? What can you do but make the world a little easier for all? For this, you require a longer view. This may seem to you that I am, for a moment, suggesting that you move out of the present. In a way, this is so from your point of view, for I do ask you to merge yourself into infinity. You live and love in a far bigger universe than thoughts you carry over from the past. You see by now how much you have grown and how much you contribute to others' happiness or unhappiness and their sense of self-worth or lack of self-worth, for others absorb the picture you paint of them. Be an artist of the highest order. If you climb the ladder of life, which you do, give a hand to all those seemingly disparate others, who climb with you or before you or after you or who do not even try. Let's put it this way, you contribute to others one way or another. You contribute to the well-being of the universe. Everyone is responsible for himself, yes. You do not take on total responsibility for others. You do not carry their burdens for them. However, you are here to make the paths others take easier for them. You are not intended to flatten anyone. You enter this world to make something of it. Just as you would serve food that is palatable, you give good service to others and, therefore, to the world and to me. All there is is oneness. You come to see this. You do not carry others' burdens, yet your presence contributes to lifting up their burdens from their shoulders. What did you think peace and goodwill were? What else can they be but blessings that ease life for all? When the great spiritual ones walked into a room, boundaries eased. Something happened. Their state of consciousness happened, and it happened to everyone in the room and on to the outermost reaches of the world to the very heavens. With every step they took, the great spiritual ones blessed the world, past, present, and future. Their footsteps echo now. Look into everyone's eyes. No, deeper than deep that you transfigure the universe. You are an alchemist. For what other reason would you come to earth? You come to earth to please me and soften the edges of life, for yourself and for all the other semblances of you. You come to earth to meet yourself. Meet yourself well. Be well met. Hail yourself. All others are you. Be kind. Be generous. Be all giving. Be all forgiving. Light up the earth so that all may see. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org